Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. So this is going to be my continuation of the previous video uh, how to call our RPG early through web browser. So in this video we are going to go one step further and we are going to send the response back to the browser. Okay, so as for IBMI is actually already giving us one um, service program which consists of uh, many procedures to deal with uh, web browsers. So here if I just display it right, so this will be having uh, a list of procedures uh, which are other base called API available already in S400. So we are going to use this particular uh, QTMH right standard out. Uh, this will help us to communicate to the uh, browser. So let us quickly modify our sample CJ program uh, to include this one. Okay, so I have added uh, the procedure which we have just seen as an external procedure and I am naming it as write to web so we can use this uh, function to write so these are all the parameters of that particular function and it is also having an error data structure which will be used uh, when we write the data into the browser and apart from that uh, I also include uh, two more uh, uh, variables this is for the line feed and this is the data now let's quickly add the code to write the data into the browser okay so now i have added the data so basically um, what we are doing this this was our original code uh, in your program so i have added extra these codes so we are going to have the data or the stream of data directly we are going to write uh, using this our uh, procedure so let's quickly compile and check whether how it's working Uh, since we are going to include the service program here, we need to compile this as a module. So I'm taking 15 and then enter. So now after that, <coughs> create PGM sample CGI my CGI sample CGI my CGI and we need to include the service program here. So this is the command which we are creating. So it's created. Okay, so our log file contains uh, this much data. So now we are going to check uh, from the browser. So again, I'm calling the same program from the web. Okay, so here we are not getting 500 error. Instead, we are getting the response directly in the browser. Now you can see whenever I submit. Okay. So the time is changing because uh, this is eventually calling the program and getting the response from the program. So this also means that our log file is also updated. Okay. So this particular um, procedure is going to be the key for us for the next couple of videos. Uh, we are going to see how we can utilize this function and then uh, create an interactive web application using AS400. Thanks for watching.